It's just after 6.30 a.m. And for nine-year-old Adeline Smith, it's the final few minutes with family before a life-altering surgery, a cutting-edge technique that understandably has dad Brian and mom Amy a bit overwhelmed. This was a big decision for us to let them cut our daughter from shoulders to waist and go in with a magic robot and fix our daughter. Addie's story starts in 2012. She actually was a gift to my husband and I in the beginning. We were seven years after the first child, so we thought it was we were done. Uh, so Adeline was our special gift. At two years old, doctors diagnosed her with scoliosis, a sideways curvature of the spine that often presents itself during adolescence. We went to another physician at a different hospital. Um, they said, well, we'll just kind of watch it and let her grow. Then when she was four years old, she had another MRI. They told us the same thing. Let's wait, watch it grow. Now we're at nine years old with severe scoliosis and it was emergency surgery. So more a whirlwind the last five months than the eight years that we were watching it and making sure she was okay. That's when the Smith family turned to the spine program at Children's Hospital and Medical Center, where Dr. Ryan Kaler said of the dozens of spinal cases he's seen, this one stood out. Addie's spine was probably one of the worst ones that I've seen in practice. Um, you know, just one from uh, the degree of her curvature, um, you know, for her to have almost a 90 degree curve, uh, that's a pretty severe curve at any age. Her neck was straight, and then when it got to about her shoulders, it was the letter C and then it went back straight again. So it's a little mind blowing that the curve is that big. The severity of the curve and the size of the patient made Addie a prime candidate for intraoperative spinal navigation, just the second such procedure done at Children's. Outside of big academic medical centers, it's not, not often used and you know, definitely something that makes our spine program here unique. While in surgery, a CT scan provides three-dimensional imaging of the spinal column. The instruments themselves are also seen on the screen as they sync up with a sensor at the foot of the bed. This allows surgeons to work in a safer, more efficient manner. With scoliosis, it's not just the curve of the spine, there's rotation of the spine as well. Having three-dimensional understanding of how the spine rotated really let us put the screws in through that apex of her curve, which is you know, the part that's the most dangerous because that's also where her spinal cord sits next to the spine in uh, kind of a complicated way. Guided by this technology, Dr. Kaler places screws and rods to straighten Addie's back, a surgery that in all spans more than eight hours. You know, it's, it's a long day to do a spine fusion, but I think at the end of the day to you know, kind of look down and then work with Addie and her family and you know, see um, when she stands up for the first time, what her back looks like after we've done the fusion, look at the x-rays afterwards, and they really can kind of see that you've taken, you know, a, a pretty severe deformity and now corrected it almost completely. I think that's a pretty powerful moment uh, to have with the family. Keep going, Addie, you've got it. Take your steps. Learning to walk again comes slow. Complete recovery from a spine fusion can take anywhere from six to 12 months. There. But just five weeks after this surgery, Addie is already starting to return to her energetic, active self, while witnessing firsthand the results of this life-changing procedure. And it makes a big difference for her and kind of her self-image as well as her function because that curve was gonna keep growing. Um, for spine deformities, kids tend to grow um, the most from a deformity standpoint when they hit adolescence. So, I mean, she would have a very severe um, life-altering deformity, I think, if that were left untreated. I hurt my back, so I know playing with my kids can be difficult at times. I have rough days. I don't want her, in turn, as a young lady, to have kids and have that wonderful experience and not be able to get down on the floor and play with them. That, that I think, would be more heartbreaking for a mother for me, is to see what her life would be like in the end. But it's not just Addie's future for which the Smith family holds excitement, but fellow kids with spine deformities corrected through similar innovation at Children's. That's what I really like about Pete's spine deformity is there's, there's all this kind of interest and energy on the academic side of things of looking at how can we do these cases safer, how can we do them more efficiently. 
um, how can we give families really the best outcomes and I think being part of that is pretty cool.